Good morning, March 12, 2012. We're immediately looking at the uh, oil barges out on the Bay of San Francisco. As you can see, there's five of them. Saturday, there were six. Sunday, there were seven. So apparently the supply, according to the information I'm getting, is, is actually up to about 90 to 97 million barrels per day now of oil production. So it looks like that we're actually becoming overloaded with oil and I suspect there may be a decrease in prices soon. Um, let me go and show you some cool stuff. Uh, let's go over to the board and uh, let me talk to you about peak oil. This is this is only my opinion, but I think uh, this is what peak oil is looking like. That's what I think peak oil will look like. Peak oil, I think, happened in uh, 2005. That would be right here. And I think we're somewhere in this area. Somewhere right around here. I think this is maybe two years away before we get down into here. A, a lot of people are talking about how natural gas, which is the, the which is what we're getting out of the uh, the term that I can't say, but it's the F word. And natural gas is good for fertilizer, heating, industrial, and making electricity by heating water, which then runs a turbine and generates electricity. But oil is only the only other source of oil other than the regular old type pumps that you see this type of thing. You know, and it has a thing here and a thing here and it and the big wheel dealy and it goes back and forth. That's the oil type. And that's that oil is only available through conventional pumping and through what uh, Canada is using as tar sands. A very terrible, dirtiest oil in the world, as it's called. So this, the F word, does not replace oil. So what we're talking about here is just this last little bit before it's time to go to the bad part. Um, I think, like I said, I think that's two years away right now. We're kind of in a glut situation. Even though we're past peak, we're sort of using up everything we possibly can, and we keep extending it a little bit, the uh, plateau as it's known. But once you're past this area, you know, you're just going to see more and more disruptions. Um, let's go down to gas stations that I usually look at, a cheap one and an expensive one that I've used over and over to see what gas is doing. As of, the, uh, as of today, it's up. Cheap and expensive gas station. Expensive gas station. Let's go look at Brent Crude. Okay, the Brent Crude started at 126 and went down to. 125.3034, something like that. At the last time I just checked, going back up, it's 125.8. Uh, what was it? Eight. So it's going up rapidly. Doing some more research, I find out that June promises to be even higher unfortunately. There's a lot of worry that there really is going to be a run out of supply very shortly. Um, one other thing here. Okay, now I want to go and uh, show, well, I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to tell you to please go to Pink Barrio for a link. It's a very important link that's 
that uh, has to do with our freedoms of speech and um, other things that have happened over the weekend. This is one of those very important links about the F word. So go read about why we can't say the F word anymore or it's risky to say the F word anymore, or even talking about the F. Uh, one more thing, and that's my, my audience. It looks like from the statistics, about half of it comes from outside the US. Uh, the UK, uh, European Union, uh, anywhere over there, Ireland is a big uh, reader of the uh, Pink Barrio and a watcher. Australia, the UK, Canada, and then the other half is pretty much the US. A quarter, quarter of my audience is uh, uh, women. Uh, above 45 years of age, so um, it, it does seem to be an older audience that's concerned about what's going on with peak oil. Springtime. Till next time.